Give me time, bitches. No! No! Just, just like in every race. In every, in every race, you have a set demographic of, a set demographic of motherfuckers. Now, that being said, because we genetic, we were genetically breed to be that way. And you white people know what I mean. Back when niggas were slaves, I'm about to drop a history lesson. Professor had. Back when niggas were slaves, we were bred. Oh, you, you think it was a mistake that 90% of the fucking NBA is knuckles? You think it was a mistake that 90% of the NFL was knuckles? Are you serious? Back in Thomas Jefferson days, they would take the biggest strongest nigga they can find and be like hey you nigger cause ER not A ER you have sex insert black woman here we were genetically bred literally by you white people you know who you are genetically bred to be more athletic I don't really know when that big dick shit happened but thanks for the stereotype even though, you know, you know how Gibby feels about stereotype. It wouldn't be a stereotype if overall it wasn't true. Don't get me wrong, there's niggas with little dicks out there. But for the most part, you're coming above average if you sleep with a brother. Why girls take note. Now, <laughs> now, the reason, what was the question? Yes! No! Not all black people are dangerous. Just because we genetically breed, breeded to be athletes. That's what fucking happened, man. That's what happened, dude. They took the smart niggas. You know what that? Oh, nigga, you can read? Blah! Your dumb ass shouldn't be able to read. That's why niggas are behind the fact that they can read. Smart, G smart niggas started coming out in the 70s. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. Motherfuckers started admitting that they can read and shit in like the 70s. Oh, don't take that for truth, nigga. I'm drunk. But for the most part, motherfuckers would hide the fact that they were smarter than you because they didn't want to be persecuted. But now that it's okay, it's 2000, niggas are coming out. Now, not all black people are James. I, me, Gibby, I am generally a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. If you cross me, I, I might punch you. I ain't gonna shoot you or no shit like that. I ain't that gangster, but I might stab you in the neck with some shit. But I'm a geek, man. Come on, man. I'm on the internet right now talking about shit and I'm drunk. I skip knowledge about D&D and I talk magic quotes. If I wasn't 6'1", 260 pounds, motherfuckers wouldn't be scared of me at all. But like, look at that geek nigga. He ain't nothing to be scared of now. And that's the same way you should look at most black folks. Just because a nigga has a do-rag on doesn't mean he's a gangster. Just because a motherfucker likes to wear blue doesn't mean he's a crip. Just because a motherfucker likes to wear red doesn't mean he's a blood. Maybe that's that nigga's favorite color. Just because he associates himself with a group of people doesn't mean that nigga can't tell you the definition, the definition of supercalifragilistic. Which, uh, to my knowledge, that really shit don't really have a meaning. That just shit was just in the movie. Next question. Oh my God, I'm not, nobody's ever said it to me, but I associate with Uncle Ruckus because we have a lot of things that we have in common. If you take away the ponytail and the, and the fucked up eye, for the most part, I am Mother Ruckus, Uncle Ruckus. I, I really genuinely, to the core, really hate the direction that the black community is going. I mean, I don't go as far as to say as I hate Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. I don't know them motherfuckers, them niggas, them niggas, went in the right direction. <laughs> but niggas definitely didn't follow through like Tiger Woods swing. Oh, because he's fucking up right now. Go back to fucking hookers, nigga. Go back to fucking hookers. Now, 
Uncle Ruckus, me and my boy Clay, we've associated ourselves with two Boom God characters. I am Uncle Ruckus, meaning that I really, truly, and genuinely, for the most part, hate black people. And, uh, I hate ignorance. I don't like it. I don't play it. And Lord knows, I know where BET is. And my boy Clay, he associates himself with Stickman. Lord knows, I've called that nigga the captain of ignorance many times. He is the most ignorant black man I know. Oh my God. Chicken, bananas, and white women. Gangster rap. I swear to God, you can't get more ignorant than that. Aside from like, a song battery, oh, the nigga got one. Aside from, aside from dating white women, oh, nigga got three kids, all by white women. Aside from loving chicken and fucking beer, oh, the nigga loves that shit. I don't drink anymore. The nigga is the most ignorant black person I know. Hands down. Hands down. Brandon Leron Clay. Government, nigga. Government is the most ignorant nigga. Nigga. That I know. So, yeah. In most part, I have associated myself with Uncle Ruckus. And I embrace that nigga like a motherfucking my buddy. Remember that my buddy shit before Chucky came out and ruined the whole shit? I had one of those. It was, it was awesome until Chucky came out and then I had to throw the shit away. But that's neither here nor Yeah, I embrace the shit. If you want to call Gibby the next gen of Uncle Ruckus, I'll gladly accept it. Because Lord knows I hate niggas. Love black people. Love black people. Because they're trying to push the black community. They're trying to go in the right direction. But niggas. Niggas. I hate all the niggas. Soldier Boy. Cali Swag Jersey. Even though one of you niggas got struck down. All y'all niggas. You know who you are. You're not pushing anything. You're not helping the black community at all. Have you donated to the United Negro College Fund? I have, and I had a job, and I was broke. Nigga, ain't that funny to have be broke and have a fucking job? Anyway, I digress. Yes, I've been compared to Uncle fucking Ruckus.